What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Hey, in this video we're going to take a look at the vacancy. This is the Future War Call Vendor Roll Fusion Rifle that's available right now since the April update. It does come with Braced Frame as well as Range Finder and Hot Swap. So the combination of those things makes it so that people are calling it a God Roll and it is a really freaking good roll, absolutely. So with Brace Frame, you get max stability. That doesn't mean perfect stability. There's a difference there. But you do get maximum potential stability on this fusion rifle. With Range Finder, it's going to increase the effective range uh, when you sight in. So when something's far, far away, you're going to get extended range when you sight in. But uh, if things are right in front of you, you're probably going to hip fire anyway. So that means that when you need the extra range, it's there. And when you don't, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can hip fire it at point blank range and still be pretty accurate because with the maximum stability, it means your cluster is going to be pretty stinking tight. So there's a lot of things I like about this fusion rifle. There's a couple of things I don't, but uh, for the most part, this is a really freaking good fusion rifle. I would encourage you to pick it up. Now, I've been using it for a few days straight now. Um, that's not enough for me to feel comfortable doing a full review so that's why I said that these are just some of my thoughts on it so far after a few days of playing with it uh, what I think about it I think it's got a great effective range um, not just on paper but in the way that it plays out so I'm gonna show you a clip here well here you can see it's a decent range that's a good fusion rifle range. It's well outside of shotgun range and that's what matters but here check this out I'm gonna aim low on this guy because he's really far away. I'm gonna aim at the ankles, and that means that my full cluster is going to land in him and uh, one hit kill him from pretty stinking far away. I mean, that's range that people often feel comfortable using a sniper rifle at. So, uh, anyways, this thing's got great range if you're accurate. Uh, just one thing that I would always remind you of when using a fusion rifle in general, but. Um, it applies to this one as well. Just make sure that you're aiming low if they're far away. You don't want to aim at center mass because you're going to miss. So make sure that you're aiming low. Unless they're right in front of you, obviously you can aim center mass. But anytime they're outside of shotgun range, make sure you aim for the groin or lower if they're uh, even further away. One of the things I don't like about this gun, and this has gotten me in trouble a few times, is the charge rate. So. A lot of times when people are charging me, I'll switch to the fusion rifle, start charging it up, but by the time I switch to it and charge it up, uh, I'm already dead with a shotgun or with a grenade, follow up with the primary. So um, you definitely want to be conscious of using this thing at the range at which it's designed to be used. So that sort of close mid range, uh, not within shotgun range. Now if you get it charged up in time, obviously you can kill guys who are charging you with a shotgun, but you have to really anticipate it. So it's not um, an oh crap gun like the Plan C can be. This is one that you're going to want to plan out in advance uh, in an engagement that you're going to be using it. So unless you've got some moves and jukes at close range, then maybe you can use it at point blank range a little bit more effectively. I found that it works well with Shade Step, it works well with Blink, anything that can sort of help you disorient your opponent. Uh, look at that range. Uh, in close range, that's going to help uh, give you an edge. So I use it in trials uh, quite a bit today, uh, specifically. Went in with uh, Apex Chris and uh, just kind of had some fun doing some two man trials like we like to do on Mondays. But uh, here you see just uh, cleaning up the last two guys with this fusion rifle at that uh, mid range and does does a really good job at it. I think it's a fantastic fusion rifle, uh, that effective range. You know, a lot of these fusion rifles since the April update um, are still mediocre at best. But uh, this one just has the right stats, it has the right rolls, so uh, it can be pretty effective at a long range. So I'd highly recommend that you pick this thing up and uh, have some fun with it. I would say that it is undoubtedly worth the legendary marks to pick it up. Now a lot of people are saying that this is a fusion rifle meta now and uh, I strongly disagree. I think that fusion rifles are uh, they're relevant again for sure but it's no I would not go so far as to say that this is a fusion rifle meta. They aren't favored. You really have to be conscious about the way that you make approaches and where you use them just because they buff these things in terms of their stability does not mean that they are easy mode. So that's just my opinion. Um, you know, a number of YouTubers are saying that uh, fusion rifles are still irrelevant. I think that they're relevant now. They're uh, they're good. They're not god mode. They're not the best. Uh, I think they've got 
They've got a little bit more tweaking to go if, if they were ever going to be the best, which I think that they're in a good spot. I, I, I think I would hate it. I, I don't think I would like it if they buff them anymore. I kind of like where they're at right now, but that's just my opinion. So let me know if you pick this thing up, what your thoughts are, guys. We'll catch you in the Crucible.